Well, hello there, friends. One of my favorite desserts. <laughs> Today I'm making strawberry tart. I made you this delicious cookie dough to go in the bottom. And on the inside, I got this cream pâtissière. <laughs> so amazing. I could just eat it by the bowl. And then I got those beautiful strawberries. And I show you how to make this amazing glaze. You can see yourself into it. It's fantastic. You're going to love this recipe, my friend. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned. We're making strawberry tart right now. Okay, friends, well, the first thing we have to do is we have to make the shell where we're going to put the cream and the strawberry on top of it. So we are using our uh, 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 pâte brisée uh, dough, uh, uh, pie dough. I have a recipe right there. And um, uh, the one the same that I made for the quiche. It's the same I made for the onion pie, except this one has sugar in it. So I wrote the recipe in, the, in the, on the link. You'll see it. it's got sugar in it added. Same, same principle. It's been in the fridge. I made it last night, so it's easier to let it rest. But if you have at least a couple of hours, you make it, you put it in the fridge, and then we're going to roll it. So we're going to put it on flour on our bench. And, uh, and uh, so it's been out of the fridge for a good uh, uh, 20 minutes. And we're going to roll it. And remember, this dough, friends, is a, um, it's kind of like a cookie dough, so it's very, it breaks easily. That's why it's called pâte brisée. Uh, it's got butter and it's got egg in it. So it's a, it's, it's like a cookie dough. Basically, you're putting a cookie dough in the bottom of your strawberry pie. And, uh, and it's fantastic. So, uh, instead of a, just like a, a pizza dough with sugar, if you will, this is more like a cookie dough. So we're going to put it in. And we're going to make sure there's enough flour on our bench because remember, this is a rich dough. And, uh, and if it breaks, don't worry about it. It's not a problem at all. It will break. See right here, you can see right there the edges. And it's perfectly fine to do this. We're going to roll it. Now, this is a very big uh, mold that I have right here, friends. I have a 13-inch. Uh, a I have to make sure it goes in the bottom of it, but also on the edge. So it has got to be about, it's got to uh, have enough spaces so I can put it on the edge. So you, you kind of roll it in a circle if you can. You see? I mean, in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a circle, really. Right? And then remember, you guys, it's very fragile. It's very, very fragile. So remember that, okay? So we're going to go in. And if it breaks like that, just don't worry about it. You know, and we'll put it back together when it's in the mold. And we're going to, I'd rather have extra than not enough, okay? Extra is better, not enough, not good. Okay? So let's see what we have here, friends. We're good here, we're good here. We're a little shy over there, so we're going this way, see? A little bit this way. And... Uh, what about right? Let's just do a little bit more so then we're in good shape here, friends, okay? And you can also buy a store-bought dough. Uh, they're pretty good, some of them. Pillsbury, I think, is a good brand. They're pretty good. All right, so this is good. So now we're going to prepare a mold, friends. And the molds, you don't have to put butter because there's butter in the dough, but you know... Uh, whenever there's an opportunity to put an extra butter, I'm in. <laughs> so we're going to put extra butter. Why do I put extra butter? Not because it's going to stick. It's not going to stick anyway because it's a non-stick mold. And uh, like I said, the dough has got enough butter in it, so it won't stick. But it's just going to, the milk protein are going to burn. And uh, I mean, it's going to caramelize it and it's going to make the dough nice and golden brown. So there's nothing wrong with extra butter, <laughs> right? So here we have it, friends. All right, so now we're going to take our dough, and carefully, we're going to bring it, and carefully, we're going to put it right on top of our mold. So you have to grab it carefully, and if it breaks when you do it, don't worry about it. Okay, see like right here, it broke a little bit? Don't worry about that. That's not a problem at all. We just got to make sure we have enough. See, if it breaks, don't worry about it. Remember, it's like a cookie dough you're working with. 
And the dough is everything in the tart. The dough is everything, my friend. The dough is everything. Of course, the custard cream we're going to put inside, that's a, that's a lot too. So what we do is we make sure there's enough. We don't want to push it. Remember now, you let it go, you don't push it. If you don't push it in a corner, you, you give it some space to go in a corner, okay? And then what you do, you take a little bowl, and then you use that bowl of dough to push it, you see? And if you're missing a couple of pieces, then put them here. You'll see when it's cooked, you'll never see any of this. You'll never see any of this. We want to make a, a biscuit, a cookie dough on the outside, you see? So don't be afraid to put a little extra. Wherever you see needed, put a little extra. All right? And don't be afraid to put it. I like extra. And then what you do, you take your roller, you get rid of all the extra like this, and then you make it nice and pretty, you see? You make it nice and pretty. All the way around it. And you use the bowl you made, which is somewhere right there, and you finish your corner, you see? You see, right there, friends. Don't use your fingers, use your, uh, use your bowl of dough, and then roll it again. And voila, you can use your finger at the end, but. And now we're gonna go in the oven, and we're gonna bake this. No, no, we're not gonna go in the oven right now, friends. We're gonna go to the fridge for about 30 minutes. We're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes in the fridge. Okay, just make sure you, you you're gonna go in the, in the fridge right now for 30 minutes. Put it in the fridge, put a plastic wrap on it, and when it's solid, then we're gonna put the rice in it and we're gonna pop bake it by itself, all right? So I'll be back in 30 minutes when it's nice and cold. Okay, friends, it's been in the fridge about 30, 45 minutes. And, uh, and it's all done, so now what I gotta do is put, put a couple of holes in there. Not too many, because it's not gonna rise. And I got a trick, I'm gonna show you how to um, uh, fill them up. So look guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of parchment paper in here and I'm gonna put my, uh, my cooking rice. <laughs> it's rice that I've cooked about 1,700 million times. I don't know how many times, <laughs> but a lot of time. I have cooked this rice, and every time I use it again and again and again, and um, and uh, yeah, I've had it for whew, many years. People use beans. Some people use um, baked beans. You know, they they come. They made out of lead. They work well as well. But a pound of rice or two works perfect for you, and it doesn't make any indentation. All right. And now we got the oven at 400 degree, friends. <laughs> We're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Let's make it 30 minutes, eh? 30 minutes, and then I'll take it out, and then I brush some egg white in it to seal the holes, and I go back in, in the oven another 15 minutes, all right? So we're gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. I'll see you when I take it out of the oven, friends. Okay, friends, leave it in there about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you carefully Remove your rice so you don't make a huge mess in your kitchen. <laughs> I say that because I've done it, you know. Remember when I tell you things because I've done it. And then I'm going to make a, I'm going to put an egg white in here. But egg white don't taste so good by themselves. So you know what I'll do? I'll add a little bit of sugar. And um, I mix them like this. And, <laughs> and then I take my brush and I brush the inside. That's going to do two things. One, it's going to seal the, um, the, um, the holes that we made. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> I say two things. No, I made one thing. That's all it's going to do, right? And then we're going to put it in here on the edges, right there. And then we're going to go back in the oven, friends, for a good uh, five, ten minutes. That's it. 
Try not to put too much on the edge because the egg white is going to make it difficult. It's going to stick. So stay away from the edge of the, uh, of, the, um, of the mold. Otherwise, like I said, uh, it's going to stick to it. And uh, you just want to make sure it's done like that. All right, friends, I want to go back in the oven. Probably another uh, five, ten minutes. And then I'm going to let it cool. And then we're going to put the pastry cream inside. And then we put the strawberry. All right, friends, I'll see you. When this is down in the oven after 10 minutes. See you later. Okay, friends. Well, the pie dough has cooked, has rested. We put the egg white in it so it's nice and sealed. And one of the reasons why we want to do that, friends, is to make it crispy so it doesn't get soggy, especially if you're going to keep the pie for a couple of days. So uh, we're going to put the, uh, the, the cream pâtissier on top. And on top of that, we're going to put strawberry. And on top of the strawberry, we're going to put a beautiful glaze to make them nice and shiny. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, the glaze, friends, very simple, okay? It's um, a cornstarch, and it's a... Uh, I'll give you the exact measurement in the recipe. It's a very simple glaze to make, friends. It's um, uh, one tablespoon and one teaspoon of uh, cornstarch. And... Uh, um, uh, uh, sugar, a quarter... <laughs> Sometimes I don't know about myself. A uh, 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 quarter, <laughs> I try to remember the measurement, friends. A quarter uh, tablespoon, uh, quarter cup, mama me. I promise you, I haven't drink anything. Uh, a quarter cup of sugar, and I got about six ounces uh, of, uh, of apple juice. And I'm gonna cook, bring this to cook. And when it's shiny, when it's, um, uh, when it comes to boil, it's gonna be done. And because I don't want it to be too sweet, because my apple juice, is sweetened, not not added sugar, but it's still a little sweeter. Uh, so I put a little lemon juice in there to offset it. If your apple juice is not too sweet, you don't really need the lemon juice. The only purpose of it is not to make it too sweet. Okay, and when it's done, you'll see it's a beautiful glaze. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to handle with it. So I'm going to let it come to boil because you know that's corn starch. So we want to come to boil, and when it's boiling. Uh, we'll do, turn, turn it off and mix it with this one. Now, we want to take the dough out of there. Remember, you got to wait for it to be completely cool, and then it comes right out. It just comes right out. That's all there is to it. It's simple. Okay, so now we got to remove the mold underneath. And, uh, and it's kind of fragile. You know what I like to do? I like to take some uh, a big, big uh, a spatula. Uh, sometimes it comes out easy, sometimes it doesn't. So... Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> uh, there you go. And then we put it on something like a plate or a platter or something that we're going to serve it in, okay? I just wanted to show you how to do it so you know. It's a little trick sometimes, you know, the little tricks, all in the tricks. It's all in the detail, eh? So, oh, uh, creme pâtissière. Uh, it's so easy to make. Remember, when you make it, friends, um, it's going to be, uh, you're going to make it and you're going to put the plastic on top of it. I took it off because I beat it a, a little bit earlier. Remember, when you're going to take it out of the fridge, friends, after a day or two, it's going to be like jello. Like jello, so you have to beat it. And beat it and beat it and beat it and beat it. I, I did it earlier. I should not have. I, 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 it took me, it takes a good five minutes to take it from the jello stage to this stage. You see? Nice, thick pudding. All right? And, um, and I'm not sure I'm going to need it all of it but I, what i'm gonna do now you can take a spoon and just put it on here and it'll be just fine but i gotta wait for the glaze anyway and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it in a pastry bag because it'll be easier and it'll look more professional <laughs> after all i'm a professional so i want to make sure it looks good for you guys i don't like to be sloppy and uh, so i'm gonna put it in a pastry bag and then i'm gonna i cut the strawberries already I just want to make sure I had enough <laughs> because Jack ate all my strawberries. Like, oh, what are those strawberries out there? I said, no, nah, enough for you. Too late. So uh, look, guys, I'm going to, um, I'm going to mix it up. It's going to get thick. Uh, I don't know if I have time to show you, but you know what? We'll just make the time, my friend. Now, oh, <laughs> obviously, a strawberry tart is not something you're going to say, hey, the kids are hungry. I see strawberry at the store. We make a tart, unless you buy a store-bought dough already, which is no big deal, and, uh, and make a, a vanilla pudding. It'll be just fine, because the cream patissier, you gotta make it at least the day before. 
at least the day before because it's got to cool, okay? So there's no quick way to do it. Look, friend, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening right in front of us. You see? Now, as soon as you see it coming to boil, come to Papa. Here you go. Voila. Here you go, my friend. It came to boil. All right? This is the glaze. This is it. You'll see. You put it on top of the strawberry tart, you're going to love it. Any, any dessert, you want to make it shiny. Um, whatever you juice you use, you can use grape juice also. I find an apple juice is nice, clear apple juice. You see, look, look. And when until you see it on the, on the strawberry, friends? It's gorgeous, all right? So it, they, if it's too, when you make it, if you make it too much ahead, it's going to get cold. If it's too cold, it's going to get a little too thick. So in case you make it and it gets too thick, just put it in a microwave for a second or two, all right? I'm going to put this in a pastry bag. I'm going to let this cool. I'm going to mix it up with this, and then I'll come back, and we'll finish to put the, the, the whole thing together. Okay, friends? I'll be back in a minute. Okay, friends, I got my glaze, I got my strawberry cut, I got a little bit of mint I'm going to put on top. I'm going to cut my pastry bag. You can see, you don't need a pastry bag, friends. Like I said, it'll, uh, it'll look a little better. So we're going to start and we're going to put it in. You can certainly do it with a spoon and a spatula and it'll be perfectly fine. No problem at all. And this custard, this uh, creme pâtissière, I could eat that by the spoonful, my friends. I could just uh, eat actually like a, like a yogurt. No, I have to tell you, I do it all the time, actually. I could, I do it all the time. It's okay if it's not super, super. I just got to make sure I get everything out of there because I'm on a diet right now. I'm gonna die right now. That's a good one, right? Mm-hmm. I right, put a little more in there. And then you could take a little spatula and fix it up nice if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Strawberries are gonna cover these friends. So if you wanted to, this to me is a strawberry pie. You just put a little more in here. I was a little light on this side right there. I'll give that side to Jack. And that's my side right there. <laughs> there you go. See, look. All right. We're not going to waste too much time. We got work to do. But you got the idea, friends, okay? Put as much or as little as you want. You won't be able to cut it right away, friends, because you're going to have to wait for it to set a little bit, that cream. But this here needs to set a little bit, okay? You can also do it with whipped cream. Whipped cream is okay, too. Normally, I would leak it, but I'm not doing it. I'm trying to have some mannerism. All right, so look, friends. Um, okay, Jack said, don't move this. So I'm not moving it. Taking my strawberry right there. And, uh, and so you do it however you want to do it. I, I find then uh, if I cover the whole outside like this first, and I go all the way around it, you see? And then, and then we're gonna put the inside. Dude, you know, that's something, that's something you're gonna have to do however you want, friends. You know, this is no, there's no right or wrong. This is uh, your way, and that's all there is to it. And uh, you can also make them individual, and they're delicious. It's all about the strawberries also. If your strawberries are good, you're in good shape. Your strawberries are bad. Well, you know what? I'm going to be able to put two of them in here like this, right? All right. Okay, so now, what we're going to do now, we're going to take the other side right there, and you just go around it. You just cover your side. You see, and I kind of cut them by size a little bit. As I get closer to the middle, and as I get closer to the middle, then I'll get a little smaller slices over there. You see, friends? You can also put some blueberries in there. If you want to cover some holes, you can put little blueberries in there. It'll be delicious. See, and you go right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to be nice, that's all. See? And put as much or as little strawberries. I thought I was going to bore you because it would take me a long time. Normally, I would take you. 
I would take a lot longer time. I would like, okay, this one over there, this one, oh, this one doesn't fit. Oh, let's not put this one over here. Let's put this one over there. And then, uh, and then I would change him. I'm not changing anything today, friends. I got to get going. I got to get this thing ready for you because I got to put the glaze on it still, okay? But you get the idea. You could do it on nice. Ah, yeah. <laughs> And the, the new people, the new subscriber, welcome. I, sometimes I forget to welcome a new subscriber. They're going to think I'm a nut. And, um, but I'm having fun. I love my job. I love my life. I love the opportunity to cook for you guys and have fun. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put a big one in the middle, like, a, like a this, right there. And maybe we give a little of this like this on the side. I think I should quit while I'm ahead. What do you think, folks? Oh, boy. Dude, get out of here. Yeah. Okay, well, you, you can spend a little more time. See, like right there, there's a hole in there. Spend. Okay, I'm not going to mess with it. All right, all right. So, so, so far, so far, so good, right, friends? Now, where's the glaze? There you go. Where's the glaze? <laughs> Jack, you notice I haven't moved the plate yet. Two thumbs up. <laughs> there you go. Now, look. If it in the glaze, my friend, the glaze is what's gonna make it all work. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You see what I'm talking about? It's like a Michelangelo. I feel like a Michelangelo. <laughs> like I said, see, that's it. He's, he's lost it. Like a Luca Mangelo, like a Michelangelo. I am, <laughs> I am painting my strawberries. I am painting, I mean, really. Where are you gonna find a job in the world well, you can have as much fun as this, my friends. And I, I tell you all the time, friends, for those of you that are chefs out there and have things to share with people, start your own channel. Chart your own channel, friends. Share with the world what you know. The audience on YouTube, let me tell you, friends, and for those of you that are professional chefs, I've been doing this 50 years. And I've never had as much fun as cooking for you too. So you go out there and start your own channel, friends. And share with the world all you know how to do. All right? Look. See, that was not difficult. It looks like a picture. You know what's going to make it look better? Like a, Oh, I moved it. I moved it. Here you go. Back it. <laughs> put a little mint in there. You don't have to put a little mint in there. But you have to admit. Then, and, and I cut a chiffonade. I cut a very, very thin strips of mint and less is more <laughs> as i'm putting more i say less is more and i'm keep putting it in okay now we're not finished one more thing little powdered sugar very little no no you have to be very little here friends yeah you got to be very little well you know what it's gonna melt right away because i think my glaze is still a little hot so i gotta wait for this to be a little little cooler all right well you got the idea maybe just a little bit Look how beautiful that is. We could take a movie. It's like a snow coming down on my beautiful strawberry tart. My friends, I would love to cut it right now, but I'm not going to do that right now. Because if I cut it right now, the cream on glaze has to set a little bit. So I'm going to refrigerate it just a little bit. Okay. And then I come back later on and we cut a nice piece. Okay, my friends. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, friends. <laughs> the moment Jack has been waiting for. <laughs> So have I. I love a strawberry top. Right, I'm going to cut myself a little piece, friends. Just a little piece, okay? I can't be uh, uh, just a little piece, uh, Jean-Pierre. I'm looking. Oh, really? How little do you want it? You want it that little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want it too big. Oh, I didn't cut it too, too good. Yeah. I, how little do you want it? You don't want it too big, Jean-Pierre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, friends, this is a... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing, my friends. Mm -hmm. Now, just imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, mama mia. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Friends, just imagine you have like a cookie, a pastry cream, and a strawberry. Mmm. All in one bite. It's fantastic. You could even put some whipped cream on top of that. <laughs> like if it really needs it. 
But I don't need it. My friend, I hope you make it. It's really amazing. The pastry cream is everything in there. Mmm. Mmm. It's a lot of trouble, but it's worth it. My friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Wow. I tell you what, this is delicious. A cookie and a custard at the same time. I'm going to eat that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well worth it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. I'm going to finish it. Mm. That's great. I like it. Mm hmm.